are absolutely not 1950s anti-communist propaganda instructional film series for children presents Chemistry and You. Well, hold on there, small child. Perhaps you'd like to take a break from beating up that communist to learn about chemistry. Boy, would I. Well, Billy, here we have Dmitry Ivanovich Mendeleev, who some people who aren't red-blooded Americans believe invented the periodic table of elements. In fact, the periodic table was actually invented by Americans in America. Golly gee, mister! Golly gee, professor, where are we? Well, Billy, we're in a chemistry lab, and this fine gentleman is a chemist. Well, hello there, folks. What brings you here? Well, I'm teaching this young lad about chemistry. Chemistry, you say? Yes. What would you like to know about chemistry, young lad? Well, first of all, how many elements are there in the periodic table of the elements? That's a simply boring question. Let me tell you the answer. Oh, right here, uh, Jimmy. The first element on the periodic table is hydrogen. The second element on the periodic table is boron. Rhymes with moron. That's how you remember that one. Uh, the third element on the periodic table is lithium. That's a song by Nirvana. They're not even around yet. Um, the fourth element is... And that's the last element that we know of, Timmy. <laughs> All right now, Stephen, now the funny thing about the elemental table is the elemental table has elements, elements that have atomic mass. Now these atomic mass can be measured in what we call grams, grams that can easily be converted to moles. Holy moly! Now that was a really, really lame joke there, Jimmy. If you say that again, I'm going to have to punch you in the face. Sorry, Mr. Chemist, but please do tell, what on earth is a mole? Well, that's none of your beeswax there, George. Well, Jimmy, don't you think we owe this fine young gentleman a big thanks for teaching you all about chemistry? Whoa, 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 I think you mean chemistry, old chap. <laughs> My mistake, chemistry. It's pronounced with a C-H, so you know it's ch and not k, because that would just be dumb. That's not using chemistry. That's what the communists want you to think. Well, Stephanie, we're outside of a swimming hole. Golly gee. I know, it's hard to believe, right? Well, I bet you didn't know that the water in that swimming hole is actually made of chemistry. Oh, boy. You want to know what it looks like? I sure do, mister. Well, let's zoom in for a closer look. That's right. It really looks like that. So, oh, Gordon, what do you think of all this new chemistry knowledge stored in your brain? I think this chemistry is pretty gosh darn interesting. It certainly is. I would like to thank you for taking me on that amazing adventure. Meeting Mendeleev, meeting a real life scientist, and meeting you, Mr. Professor. Who I'm not a professor. Yeah.